Hey everyone, Dave here from the Photography Toolkit and today's challenge is the 300 millimeter challenge. So I'm using a 300 millimeter lens, not a zoom lens, a prime lens. I love this lens. It's the Nikon 300 millimeter uh, F4 uh, PF. So it's, it's quite a lot smaller than other 300 millimeter lenses. So it's lighter, it's easier to travel around with. I love it. Uh, I'm using it with the Nikon D850, which is a huge sensor size, it's great. And I'm looking forward to trying to capture some images with this and see what challenges I face. Um, one of the things that I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to really look at the minimum focus distance and see how close I can focus. I'm gonna try to get down low to the ground. I'm going to try to maybe even get high up in the air, but um, I'm looking forward to trying this challenge and seeing what kind of shots I can get while out and about today. So let's have some fun. So I really like those uh, shadows with those cool stairwells up there. So I'm going to try to capture that. Um, but also maybe just some of the details in those stairs. This is one of the cool things about this lens. You can really you can really pick out the details and it's not too heavy to carry around. Some more details of those spiral staircases. I'm going to try to make a symmetrical figure. Now I can I might be able to move far enough back this time that I can actually Some shadows on there. This is the sort of thing that I love. But again, these shadows are just so cool. I just love them. And just the, the, the colors, the two colors here are kind of cool. It's almost like a painting. So I've got this barrel here and I, what I want to test is the ability of the close focus for my 300 millimeter lens. Again, all lenses have different focus, but I just love this detail on here of the rust on this top of this barrel. Now it says it's 1.4 meters. I can override manually, try to get as close as I can there, but I just, uh, some cool rust on there. I really like that. Maybe I'll closer I am to my subject, the blurry the background is going to be when I take that picture. So this beautiful cat here it seems to be sort of that back alley cat. Let's grab a quick portrait of him looking right at me. And I've got a, quite a bright background, so I'm actually going to switch over here, try to get more of his body in the background there. Still got his eyes on me. Maybe a little bit back to get those whiskers. I'm watching the background so there's no distracting elements, but... The light on that building back there, and then a tree in the foreground. I'm going to see if I can capture something that I like. I kind of like that tree and I also like those red windows. Let's see if I can get something that includes both of them. I'm trying to, don't necessarily want to move closer, but I'm trying to get rid of that green line. The green line's kind of bugging me a bit, but I don't think there's much I can do about it. Change my aperture, maybe have them both in focus. I'm down to I'm about 20. One of the things that a telephoto lens does is it compresses the view. So right here, we've got these colors on this bench. I can use the telephoto lens to try to compress that. So I'm gonna try that out. You won't see it quite here, but in the picture that I'm gonna take, you'll see it. So this is one of the best things that a telephoto lens can do is it can compress the view and can just focus on these colors. As for my focus point, usually I put it in the for front, but I might try, I'll try here in these cases, put in the middle and at the end. I 
telephoto lenses sort of compress the view. Let's see if I can get this shot of this guy here. Sort of looking in there, he's waving. That's what a telephoto lens can do. I've got this cool floor here. Now this is something, you know, like an example of where you can take pictures where you might not see them. So I'm actually going to use, get low to the ground and use my variable screen so I don't have to lie down on the ground. Again, my minimum focus distance comes into play here. Let's see, I might just manually focus, take total control, make it a little bit easier and see what I can do. If I just move close to this person who's sweeping. So I think that's the shot that's gonna work. I can get it there cleaner background. I might get low to the ground. I've got these long walkways again. Now, let's see if I can get these people walking down it. That would be great. They're a bit close. I might have to move back a bit. And let's see, i got that red in the background, the red light. See if I can get that behind a pole. There we go. A bit more. There it is. There, there. Okay, so this is sort of what this telephoto lens can do. Compress the view. Watch those backgrounds if you can. So I captured some pictures before of these beautiful shop houses, but uh, I, I never ignore the light. If the light's there, <coughs> I'm gonna take some pictures. So let's, let's grab a couple. Just use the light as well. Trying to make sure I don't have those distractions in the background. Just try to use the light. I'm even got some blur in the foreground. I kind of like that. This plant that's close to me. Okay, so great vista out here. Uh, however, I don't have my wide angle lens. I can take some pictures of sort of these houses and you know compress them so they're all sort of stacked up on one another maybe i'll try some smaller apertures that sort of really give me a lot of depth of field and oh i like that red over there that red is kind of cool that gives me but just stack these things on top of each other these buildings these roofs There we go, got a man down there on his bike. I like that, that's kind of cool. I'm quite close, even though I'm quite high up, but it gives a different perspective, which is kind of cool. Try to get a shot of this person walking down there on the street. guy there putting out his laundry which is kind of cool if you can get that shot in the background I like that maybe I can get it from this side if I'm lucky as a pole might be in the way but it gives that kind of cool oh, that pole looks like it's in the way I can't go down can't go up maybe I can use my variable screen Take a chance here. Just be aware, you see this pigeon here. If I turn just a bit here, it completely changes the background. Here I've got a yellow background, and here I've got this gray background that little turn so always be aware of your background okay so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to capture I'm gonna go low to the ground and I'm trying to capture a bunch of movement I'm gonna turn my camera into my lens into manual focus mode so I have control over that easier I'll use the live view screen and I'll try to wait till I get a lot of people moving across the frame like lots of feet and a slow shutter speed 
maybe a 20th of a second. I might have to rest my camera on the ground to get everything else sharp, but I'm gonna give that a shot. He's sort of moving through, Let's see what I can get. So what are my final thoughts about the 300 millimeter challenge? Um, I really love that lens. That uh, 300 millimeter PF Nikon F4 lens is nice and short and lightweight and easy to carry around. Um, it's not always easy when you want some wide scene, you see something that you could use another lens for, but that's part of the challenge. How can you just use that one lens? Um, I enjoyed using auto ISO, so I had that on so that I have a shutter speed of at least 400th of a second, so I turned that on. There were some times when I turned that off, um, like when I went into the subway and I wanted to get, try to get some slow movement of the feet, um, but generally I had the auto ISO on and then my aperture was usually around f4 which allowed me to um, have quite a wide depth of field but regardless um, you have quite a wide uh, blurry background anyway when you're uh, shooting at 300 millimeters um, yeah so i really enjoyed the challenge um, i found myself sometimes shooting the way that i would normally shoot like compressing things and sometimes i feel like i need to try to do something different and not just do those sort of compressed photographs. Um, but uh, I, had a, I had a great time. Hope you enjoyed um, seeing what I was doing and I'll see you for the next challenge.